hi programmers so in this video i'm going to show you that how different services of a cluster can communicate with each other so using this solution you can let the other service which is from other cluster can communicate with the other service which is from other cluster something like that so don't get confused so keep it simple how we can let uh, the services communicate with each other so that is the scenario we're gonna implement and start implementing it so before that let me quickly give you a flow diagram so that you will understand what i'm trying to say okay so what we did was um, we created a simple uh, um, right this this cluster right so that 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 cluster will be having service a and service b in our case we have had user api and the second one was the books api correct now it will it has one uh, like different tasks running right so the tasks are running fine and everything now aws has given one of the best solution that is like ecs service connect so what it does is like we have to enable ecs service connect which is something like this saying that okay um i have to configure number of services to start communicating with each other via a namespace so that namespace is nothing but uh, 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 prefix uh, sorry a, su a suffix that is telling that if you are inside that namespace then all the services inside that uh, uh, namespace can start communicating with each other how so don't worry i'm going to give you that scenario as well so as soon as you configure a container uh, or i would say a service saying that hey utilize this service connect what it does behind the scene is it will launch an agent where it will launch an agent inside a, this particular container okay so you are configuring there inside the uh, service itself so whatever the containers will be inside uh, the service it will be having that agent that agent will be having the namespace which we are defining uh, in, inside the uh, service connect so that agent will be responsible for maintaining all the networking on behalf of you so you don't have to worry so the end point will be like how you can com start communicating with the other services is something like that for example service a needs to communicate communicate with the service b so what you have to do is that you can open a terminal uh, of service b and then go inside that terminal let me um, go inside that terminal here uh, the terminal will be inside the terminal you can find uh, you can perform any curl operation and then hit that uh, service a via something like http colon forward slash service name dot okay service name dot namespace and whatever the path you have so in our case that the path is related to users or something like that as soon as you hit this one you will get a, a pinging option to your container saying that yes that is accessible right so that's how the communication will be done inside the ecs uh, uh, service um, inside the ecs uh, cluster with multiple services i would say okay now let's see uh, practically how we can do that one uh, you might have remember that i previously told you that at the time of creating the cluster for example if, if i go quickly here and then show you that if i'm typing something here ttt something like that this particular thing is automatically be populated here right so this is the nothing but a uh, cluster is being uh, sorry namespace is being created for that cluster so it's telling like hey uh, if you are mentioning that uh, namespace within a service then all the services can inter communicate with each other so now you can see this namespace over here previously we have created a bookshop right so bookshop same exact name was created or not we will see over here so if i go and yes that was created here right so now that cluster already has a namespace at the time of creating a new service we will attach that namespace how let's quickly do it so first i'm gonna create a new service create users over here you are, i'm gonna type users api 
now inside this service connect you have to turn on the service connect here client and server you have to select then only it will give you a endpoint something like uh, uh, something like uh, for example i'm gonna sh share you here so the endpoint will be like http forward slash and the service name dot namespace and whatever the url path you have had um, sorry the uh, the port number right the sorry port number is 9000 whatever the port number you have had so in our case so http forward slash service name was so very you can find the service name the service name i was talking about is um, if i go back on the cluster here so inside this cluster so whatever the service name i'm creating here that service name like for example books dot uh, books hyphen api dot the namespace is bookshop right which is this one here and the container for that bookshop which was i was talking about the container for this this bookshop will be there right so now you have to go inside and let's start creating that one now if i go i was already creating yep yeah, i was already creating that one now the thing is that see as soon as i uh, uh, select the client and server it already populated and pre-selected the books shop namespace now <coughs> over here you have to add a port like where or uh, like on what port it was exposed to so user api so that um, discovery name you can put that one as an optional field but yeah so discovery name and the name is space you have to add over here based on this one only you can go and you know hit that api or make this service available for the other services something like that so same thing user api dot the namespace which i was talking about that was uh, book uh, this one but not the ns one but this one right so and the, it was exposed to 9000 one correct and that's pretty much it you don't have to do anything else apart from this one so just create this one a new service now create a new service same like that one but this time we are creating books now here books will be created on books api service like this this time i'm creating a service connect here see already populated that bookshop and that is case sensitive so Make sure that should be having the same like uh, all lowercase if you provided uppercase so it's up to you but i prefer lower cases because um you know most of the url comes in the lowercase right so i'm selecting books <coughs> books api selecting um, books api and not ns that was something else previously created now 9001 9000 not 9001 am i right so that was created that was running on 9000 right so that's pretty much it and then just create it and just try refreshing it so user is being uh, user service is being created just try refreshing it yeah so book service is also being created now um but how to test that one so I'm gonna tell you in the later video that how we can test that one via the SSH in, into it, what we have to do, what role we have to add and everything, okay? So let me quickly re try refreshing it because I wanted to show you the endpoint which it will give us so that, that using that endpoint, we can try to communicate with the other services, right? So if I go here, configuration, and see this is the endpoint I was talking about. So it formed the endpoint exactly the same HTTP service connected. So ser users hyphen AP and books shop uh, 9001. So that's how you have to connect that one, right? The one which I was talking about, uh, like how we can SSH into it and check that one. First of all, I'm gonna quickly go and try, uh, I'm gonna delete this one. I, those, I don't require that. Okay, so if I open that one, let me quickly check whether that is running or not. Um, 
that is running on which one was that uh, sorry I'm gonna go over here task definition and then temple binding here so that is there 9001 but let me check yeah so that those are working fine now the one is working fine so it should uh, the other one is that should work now the agent which I was talking about see this one ECS service connect agent that was the one which I was talking about uh, that will be injected uh, directly which is which this one I was talking about right automatically inside the uh, container and that's how the other service now if I show you the other service see this one the books you know if I go inside this one go inside the container and show you see those two containers it, it is telling to those two containers because that is the uh, agent is nothing but a slight lightweight uh, container itself right so that was already there yeah so that's pretty much it both services are working fine in the next video we will test that how we can test that service on uh, and how we can uh, utilize that one using ssh okay so stay tuned and thanks for watching